Gorn Magala was introduced in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate as the flagship monster of the game. He is a dark purple elder dragon with wings resembling a cloak. Shigaru Magala was introduced in the same game as the adult form of Gore. Both monsters are similar, but have quite a few differences, so we will cover both in this video. In 4 Ultimate, Gorn Magala's neutral state has him move around on all fours with his wings tucked onto his back. He tends to attack physically by biting or rushing at you, either head on or zigzagging. He can also fire projectiles that travel along the ground, either singular or three at once. He also likes to spread these paws on the ground that inflict you with a status new to this game, the Frenzy. If afflicted, you have a limited amount of time to deal enough damage, which will overcome the virus and grant you an attack bonus. However, waiting too long will limit your natural healing capabilities for a while. Unlike other statuses, getting the virus is kind of inevitable, so it's better to work with it than against it, especially because it cannot be cured. Gore Magala is completely blind, so throughout the fight, he spreads these paws and projectiles around to get a better idea of where you are. Other attacks include the ability to create close range explosions, either on the ground or in the air. He will often bite to the side while swinging his tail around. He can take to the skies, where he'll either launch a projectile or dive at you. Throughout the fight, Gorn Magala will slowly charge up, indicated by his veins glowing from blue to purple to pink. When fully charged, he brings his wings down and initiates his frenzy mode. Feelers that resemble horns spike up from his head, allowing him to sense you perfectly, and he blacks out the sun to the point everything goes dark. In this state, he becomes much more dangerous as he gains new attacks and old ones change. His charge is now much wider as he makes use of his ginormous wing arms. He will slam them down on you either individually or both at once. He can swing his arm behind him as well as rush forward while scraping them on the ground. He can also release an explosion that spreads on either side of him. Gore can use his wing arms to pin you down in the states where he grabs you and chucks you around. Generally, most of Gore's attacks are directed right in front of him so the safest place to be is at his back. Unfortunately, to knock him out of the frenzied state, you need to attack his face, which is by far the most dangerous part of him, especially in this state. After doing so, he will return to normal and the cycle will begin anew. When in the frenzied state, there are some normal attacks that Gore cannot do, such as the zigzag charge, the explosion sweep, and the tail whip. Skipping ahead for the sake of brevity, Jiran Gore Magala's projectiles are bigger and move in unorthodox directions. He attacks at a much faster rate, and in frenzy mode, both wing slams can combo into a double slam. Gore doesn't really show up widely in G-Rank. He's available through single player expeditions and guild quests, as well as one event quest that places him in a special arena, but that's about it. Shigaru Magala in the base game is encountered later than Gore. He's golden, has both wing arms out, and has actual eyes. What used to be feelers are now full-fledged horns, and he's much stronger. You see, Shigaru shares pretty much all his attacks with Frenzied Gore Magala, with a few key differences. His Frenzy powers are much more intense, he can scatter puddles passively, the Frenzy projectiles have larger explosions, and can often split into smaller projectiles. When Shigaru becomes enraged, he takes off into the sky and roars, striking a very iconic pose. Random explosions occur across the arena, often tripping you up. He can also follow up his set of explosions, with another that moves in front of him. After diving, Shigaru will turn around and charge. In G rank, Shigaru Magala has bigger frenzy attacks, and when enraged, almost all wing based attacks will cause scripted explosions in front of him. In many ways, Shigaru is a bit like Furious Rajang or Savage Devil Joe, functionally a permanently frenzied Gore Magala with a few additions of his own. This even extends to his effect on the environment. While Gore Magala would darken the sky in his frenzied state, Shigaru does it passively and will only stop upon death. Shigaru Magala is born when Gore Magala sheds his skin, which is actually foreshadowed whenever you injure him, as you can clearly see there are golden scales underneath the purple. However, it is possible for the process to fail, causing a half and half version. Meet Chaotic Gore Magala. I say half and half, but really, this variant is more 70% Gore, 30% Shigaru. He has huge streaks of gold and a horn permanently grown. However, he is still blind and his failed transformation, while giving him unique abilities, has also left him in tremendous agony. Chaotic has a mix of Gore and Shigaru's attacks and can switch stances. Sometimes, 
his wings are tucked in, and sometimes they're out on the ground. He has some of Gore's attacks that Shigaru does not have, such as the bite and tail swing combo. His frenzy attacks are not only large, but also unpredictable, such as his projectiles moving in crazy directions. When Chaotic becomes enraged, his gore feeler pops up on his head, essentially giving him two horns. He has access to a frenzied mode too, where once again the sky darkens. It's a bit hard to see because he's moving so fast, but the Shigaru half of his face appears to have a glowing red eye. He's faster in this state, with stronger frenzied attacks, and after enough time has passed, he will send out a special nuke that creates more explosions, but will end the frenzied state. Generally, Chaotic doesn't have many exclusive attacks. What he does have is an unorthodox mix of both Gore and Shigaru's, and he puts a unique spin on them. For example, he can make a set of explosions that travel in front of him, which Shigaru could only do as a follow-up. He can also delay his wing slam to throw off your timing. For Ultimate's G-Rank was structured in such a way that you would encounter Chaotic Gore first, and then Shigaru later, with regular Gore being more or less optional. The hierarchy of power still puts Shigaru on top, with Gore at the bottom. Gore and Shigaru returned for Generations, while Chaotic returned for Generations Ultimate. They're identical in pretty much every way, so instead of discussing changes, I'm going to briefly discuss an interesting topic. What is Gore Magala? Earlier, I stated Gore was an Elder Dragon. This is not actually true. Shigaru Magala is an Elder Dragon, but Gore is not. Despite having four legs, two wings and a tail, a common trait among Elders, and straight up becoming Shigaru later in life, Gore is actually classified as... Yeah, they don't actually know. Even when Gore Magala showed up in Sunbreak, he was still classified as this. The only other monster to share this classification is Chaotic Gore. What's interesting is that various Monster Hunter art books actually call him an Elder Dragon directly, yet the games do not. I'm pretty sure the reason for this is that while Gore Magala looks like an Elder Dragon, acts like an Elder Dragon, and fully transforms into an Elder Dragon later in life, the games don't classify him as one, because despite all of this, he can still be affected by traps, something that does not happen to Elders. This is something about Gore Magala that they're not willing to change, but they probably don't want to make an entirely separate class that's just Elder Dragon that falls into traps. So Gore Magala's class remains a mystery, even though he kind of is an Elder. In any case, Gore Magala returned for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, skipping world completely. He does not get many changes at all. His frenzy wave attack can be fired as a projectile from a longer range. In his frenzy mode, he can rush forward with his wing arms. When diving from the sky, he quickly spins before initiating the attack. He also has a new hip check. Previously, knocking him out of his frenzy mode would make him stumble away, but now it's a full knockdown. I want to take a moment to quickly praise the special effects on his wings. This flowing detail they had was present in 4 Ultimate, but not very prominent. On a system more powerful than a 3DS, it truly looks amazing. Unfortunately, his sky darkening effect isn't as good. It doesn't physically block out the sun anymore. Shigaru Magala also returned to Sunbreak, with quite a few more changes than Gore. For starters, the Sanctuary has not returned, so Shigaru hangs out exclusively in the Citadel instead, and roams around more like a normal Elder Dragon. In addition to this, he no longer passively darkens the sky just by being present, which feels like a major downgrade. When he enrages, he doesn't even strike his iconic star pose anymore. So what does he actually gain? Well, he has Gormagala's new sunbreak attacks, and he moves faster across the board. He can also swipe his wing arm in front of him. While enraged, the more he attacks, the more his eyes and mouth glow. After enough time has passed, he will eventually let loose with a laser aimed straight ahead. The laser can actually be prevented by dealing enough damage to his face, which will cause a knockdown similar to Gore's frenzied state. When Shigaru reaches a certain health threshold, he will rage by flying up into the air like in Monster Hunter 4. This is when the sky starts darkening, and it will also cause explosions just like that game too. In this state, not only does Shigaru become much more aggressive, but almost every attack he performs with his wing arms will now send a set of explosions out in front of him. Shigaru can also perform a different laser. This one has him stand on his back legs, and sweep it around in an arc while aiming at you, and it's a bit harder to dodge. Shigaru can be knocked out of this state, and he will also sometimes leave it naturally on his own, but he will mostly spend the final stages of the fight like this. 
Title Update 3 introduced Chaotic Gore Magala to the game. He's been updated for Sunbreak, with a lot of Gore and Shogaru's new additions, but at the same time, he's quite like how he was in 4 Ultimate, where he mixes them up quite a lot. For example, one of his favourite things to do is spin around into a projectile attack or create explosions. When Gore and Shigaru spin, it means they're about to hip check you, but Chaotic will deliberately mislead you sometimes. His frenzy wave spreads out in a V shape rather than a straight line, and he will deliberately mistime certain attacks to throw you off. Chaotic also has his old enhanced state, where Gormagala's feeler appears. Here he gains Shigaru's wing swipe as well as his delayed frenzy explosions, only they send out projectiles after doing so. Overall, he becomes much faster. After enough damage has been dealt, he enters his frenzied state, where his eye glows once more. His wing arms will also cause explosions, and he can launch a volley too. Sometimes he can perform a faster slam, where he rushes forward slightly. His frenzy wave attack has been altered so that it explodes in a T-shape rather than two straight lines. The long range version now causes explosions to occur in an X, covering a wider area. Chaotic will also perform a brand new pin, where he scrapes you along the floor and tosses you in the air, before firing Shigaru's laser, which is the only time he uses it. In general, he becomes much faster and stronger, and his frenzy abilities become enhanced too. His ultimate attack has been changed, so that the pool of explosions is now just one big explosion, but still pretty devastating. It also doesn't end his frenzied state, you now have to knock him out of that. Finally, Risen Shigaru Magala was added in Title Update 5 as an Elder Dragon that overcame the Curio Affliction and became stronger. That makes 4 different Magalas in one entry. Risen Shigaru is an amped up Magala in almost every way. He is visually much darker, kind of resembling Gore in terms of colour scheme. He is initially encountered in the Forlorn Arena, which is not the case for other Risen Elder quests. Perhaps this was done deliberately to harken back to the Sanctuary battle in 4 Ultimate. Risen Shigaru can now do a special slam that is slower, but tracks the hunter more accurately. He can also perform Chaotic Gore's Fake Out Explosion. He can scatter his Frenzy Powder in a V shape, which triggers explosions, and his long range Frenzy Wave explodes in a T shape rather than a straight line. When enraged, practically all wing attacks will trigger rows of explosions, which only happened with Sunbreak Shigaru when his health was low. With Risen Shigaru, even his slams will cause rows of explosions to trigger which is completely new. It's also important to note that he moves much faster with a higher rate of attack. Knocking him out of his laser charge will also leave him on the ground for less time. When Risen Shigaru ascends and powers up, several things change. The V-shaped frenzy wave is done twice in a row. All explosions caused by the wing attacks are now increased in size and sometimes delayed. His straight laser is fatter in size and his sweeping laser causes explosions to spread along the ground. Risen Shigaru will also perform a triple wing slam. It is also worth mentioning that the sky is darkened while he's in this state. Not just that, but he's even faster than before. Now because Shigaru enrages and enters the risen state while grounded, he doesn't really get that many opportunities to do his classic star pose. So now he has a new attack, where he causes pillars of frenzy explosions to appear in a circle and move towards the center. After a short period of time, a massive explosion occurs. Shigaru will sometimes do this immediately upon entering the Risen State. When close to death, Risen Shigaru's double slam can be comboed from a triple slam, making it technically 5 slams in a row. It doesn't end there however, because a special version of Risen Shigaru Magala is also available at higher level anomaly quests. Not much is different here, but it's worth mentioning regardless. The V-shaped frenzy wave now goes 3 ways rather than 2, his standard wing explosions now go two ways like a V-shape. In general, many of his attacks are faster, and the rows of explosions are often double or tripled up. In his risen state, his homing wing slam can be followed with a double one. In general, his combos are altered, and his rate of attack has been dramatically increased. For example, in the standard quest, he would follow a pin with a homing wing slam. The hazard version though, will follow it with a triple wing slam, followed by a straight laser. When close to death, he will fake out his double slam with another, and he'll even do this as part of a combo, meaning he technically combos 7 slams in a row.
Back in the 4th generation, I always felt like Gore was a better monster than Trigaru. I made a video on this some time ago, but Gore essentially has two different movesets, one where he's neutral, and the other where he brings out his wing arms. You're going back and forth throughout the fight, which makes the whole thing quite dynamic. Shigaru on the other hand only has the wing arm moveset. His only big differences are the enhanced frenzy attacks that arguably make him more dangerous but not as good as Gore. Chaotic was fun because he actively mixed and matched different attacks from both forms, which made him very unpredictable. So come 5th gen, Sunbreak Gore didn't need many changes, but they did a very good job with Shigaru Magala. The new additions make him feel more than simply a furious Gore Magala, so to speak. Generally, there's a lot of aspects about Shigaru Magala that I like better than Gore, namely his theme and his appearance. I think the Sunbreak version did a lot more to improve him, but there's still a few things I don't like, namely that these rows of explosions were too small and often wouldn't hit you. On top of that, I miss how he'd passively darken the sky simply by existing. It really conveyed to you just how much stronger he was than Gore. I also think they could have given him more exclusive attacks. Risen Shigaru fixes some of those complaints. He's so much more threatening and in many ways feels like how Shigaru should have been implemented from the start, although not completely. Giving him the wing arm explosions when he becomes enraged by default was a great decision. Increasing his speed and aggression too makes him so much harder, to the point I would argue he's one of the hardest fights in this game. The Hazard version might be a contender for one of the hardest fights in the entire series. Part of the reason this video took so long is because I actually wanted to beat the quest because some of the changes happen when he's very close to death. I've always been very mixed on Chaotic Gore Magala. In 4 Ultima, I was never able to beat him solo until very recently, and so it's only recently I could appreciate him fully. The Sunbreak one is good. Very nice how they updated him with not only Gore's new additions, but Shigaru's too. If you count Risen Shigaru, Sunbreak has essentially given us 4 different Magalas in one entry. If you really want to count Hazard Shigaru Magala, then that's 5, which is just crazy. I'm not complaining though. Which Magala is your favourite and why? Across both 4 Ultima and Sunbreak? Let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe and have a good day.